Hi, I'm Stacey and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be going over the toolbox repository that I made for the collaboration that I did with Robert Ferranic. And this code is available for anyone to use. The code is open source. And I just thought I'd make this short video letting you know it exists. So currently I have the IP repository for a couple of IP course that are available for you to use in Fofado. And if I open the project here, so this is an example block design of using the IP course that are in the toolbox. What this design does is it takes a switch and it creates a packet on the network and that packet uh, for that switch event so that you know the switch was flipped on off. And the same with the LEDs, you can use, you can take a network packet and send a network packet to the FPGA and it'll turn the LEDs on and off. And so this design I put together uh, just as a little demonstration of how these IP blocks can be used. And I just thought I would tell you about their existence so that you know. In future videos, I do plan on going over some of the modules into this, this design the ethernet one this one and the uart one are existing code that i've already written on my channel and so i will link to the videos that go over that code in the description but this snoop debug one i'm going to be going over in a future video as well as like a little arbiter and design so i just thought that i would let you know about this and i'll give you a little demonstration now of how it works so i have wireshark open here and when I flip the switches on my board, you can see that the packets appear here saying switches changed new value. I even wrote a little Python utility where if you switch the switches, then the LEDs change. So we can see the LEDs changing. So I have this running on my FPGA board now. And as I'm switching the switches, the packets are coming through on Wireshark. And then if I choose switches to LEDs, then it will turn the LEDs on. It'll send a packet to turn the LEDs on. I'm just going to record it with my phone as well so that you can see what that looks like. So there's the switches. And then when I turn the switches on like this, you can see. So I've turned them all off there and they're all off. And then if I go switches to LEDs, all the LEDs will go off. And then I can turn the switches on. And then when I turn the switches to LEDs and the LEDs come on. And so the way that this is working is this Python utility is sending a packet through the Ethernet to the FPGA. And that packet is being received by the FPGA and the FPGA is turning it into an LED on and off depending on what the settings are in the packet. And the same with the switches. When I flip a switch on the FPGA, the switch is going through the FPGA, through the network and to my computer. And then my computer knows and it's displaying it here in Python, the switch going on and off. If you are interested in seeing the demonstration that I did of this on Robert Ferranic's channel, you're welcome to take a look. I will post it in the description. And I'm also going to be posting a video going over the Snoop interface as well. So this is just a short video telling you about the existence of this. I, I do this like, why Stacy, why do you put free code online? I do this because I want to make the barrier to entry into this industry lower. A lot of the code is proprietary and there aren't that many examples out there of proper things being done. And I mean, obviously there's more and more examples being made all the time. And I want to contribute to that because I want to make it as easy as possible for someone to get into this industry and for people to feel like they can and, and to not feel like it's this impossible thing that they need to do and to demonstrate some of the power that FPGAs have. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, and so you're welcome to take a look at the GitHub repo if you would like and check it out and play around with it. This was designed for a Nexus board, which is this board here, Nexus A7. This is a Digilent board that is a Xilinx device. And that's what this board, this initial design was made for the demonstration that I showed you. But 
the code in general can be used for other Xilinx devices and it would probably be pretty easy to modify it to work on other FPGA devices and manufacturers as well. So yeah, thank you for watching my video and I hope this can be useful to you and I'll see you when I post the Snoop debug video which is going to be on the Snoop module. Okay, bye!